Hey guys, I've uh, been wanting to do this for a while now and I thought I'll uh, start it today. Today I'm meeting up with Bryce. Bryce has come away with us a couple of times and um, he's into photography just like myself. Um, tonight we're going down to the beach and we're just going to take some photos of the sunset. So I thought we'll do a uh, nice little tutorial on how to set your camera up for long exposure and nice sunsets. So I'm currently just at Seaford Pier. It's literally down the road from my house. Um, Bryce messaged me about 10 minutes ago and said, hey, let's go take some photos. Let's get some more content. So I said, why not? We're just uh, gonna set up and figure out what's our uh, best position and take some snaps. Uh, I think Bryce is talking to someone at the moment, but we'll have a look. Good evening, Bryce, how are you? Thank you. I thought we'd do a tutorial. running out your F stop in aperture and ISO on the 6D here I was just shooting at 1 over 4000 just messing around F4 ISO 100 bringing out some really dark photos but obviously you can pull it out with raw but yeah just messing around at the moment see what I can get Hey, what's going on? So today, um, Tom and I have decided to come out to Brighton Beach Boxes. We're gonna try and take some photos um, shooting towards the city. Um, at the moment, I'm just camped up about maybe 100, 200 meters away from it. And we're gonna go start walking. Obviously, when Tom gets here, I'm still waiting on him. Um, and find a good little hiding spot. I noticed there is some greenery around this area and there is a lot of people out for what well, it's like five o'clock so uh, Brighton Beach Boxes must be a hot spot or a uh, Melbourne attraction I guess but today we're just uh, coming out to take some photos and some snaps we might even do a run through of uh, what cameras we got um, and what each of us are running at the time to uh, get that awesome snap About time. Hi Thomas. Hello. We're gonna go for a little hike. See if we can find a good spot. But uh without getting our shoes too sandy. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. 
Who's trying to? Well, I like this Freaking hurt. I don't think you are getting any closer. Well, maybe up there. Follow the Olympic road. Go up there or up down here? I thought we'd try and do this again. Last time, uh, Bryce and I, we came out to uh, see the pier and uh, the audio was absolutely horrible. So uh, today, Bryce has messaged me again. We're gonna try and uh, get some nice snaps. I think the sunset is just coming down now. We're just uh, heading towards Frankston Pier, just walking over the bridge. And um, just trying to get some nice B-roll footage as the uh, sun uh, drops just below the, uh, the horizon line. I must say, I never come out to Frankston uh, in the evening time. I try and avoid it as much as I can. There's just so many people out here. And um, as it's a nice day, everyone's still down the beach. Good evening, Bryce, again. The audio was so shit in the last video. So, the audio. yeah, I thought we'll try and do it again. Yeah, the wind. And that was from the road, Mike. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. So, what's been going on? Not much. I'm very burnt. I've been out all day. Put some sunscreen on, man. I took it out of my car yesterday. I cleaned my car yesterday. I took the sunscreen out. I knew I was coming out today. I knew it was going to be sunny. Didn't put the sunscreen back on my car. Now I'm tomato. <laughs> Uh, so today, I've been working all day, Bryce gets to take photos, go on uh, extravagant trips, not really, it's just down the peninsula, but um, I think we'll try and do a quick run through on uh, what Bryce's setup is, what he's taking photos with, um, with the handheld in his hand at the moment, and the one that's on the tripod, and what his aim is for tonight, or this evening I should say. tripod, camera, lens, and then why you are taking photos on the, that and at what? That was a videoing actually. Oh, was it? <laughs> Alright, so let's go through tripod. No photo. 290. Yes. Lens. What lens we got going on? Lens, 10 to 22. EFS. Uh, yeah, 10 to 22 EFS. Wide angle for the golden hour. So, there you go. That camera is a 700D, was that correct? Yes, Canon 700D. That's my OG. That's uh, camera number one. He's, he's got a, a couple in his arsenal. 
and uh, we'll go for number two and the lens and the uh, camera he's running and why he uses that one for handheld. So, lens and camera. This is my big bad boy. Sigma 200 f2.8 Mark II image stabilized. This thing is so tack sharp, it's yeah. insane. And I got it on my 6D Mark II and cover up because I just don't like people to be able to like just look at it and be like, oh, that's an expensive camera, I might rob you. <laughs> so I put tape over it. Very good. So why do you use uh, this camera for handheld or stills, as um, you said? Well, this is obviously the better of the two, but it's actually full frame, whereas that one is a crop sensor. So I like to be able to actually get the focal lengths that I want. Plus, full frame is just better in general, really. Allows more light in, and yeah, it's just a better sensor. It's a better camera, more megapixels. Okay, there you go. So that's Bryce's setup. I'm uh, running a Sony A6300. I'm not as uh, skilled as Bryce and have the equipment going on that Bryce has, but um, when we do, we try and get out as much as we can. Um, our aim is like uh, maybe once a week, a bit like uh, training for football, but for photography. Um, the more we can get out, the better we're going to be become, but um, at the moment, it's just us stuffing around. Bryce has more time up Always his sleep. Learning. That's it, yes. 100%. But um, I think uh, this is the start of something new and pretty awesome for both of us. Absolutely, man. Till then, catch you later and see you on the flip side. Thank you guys. We need, we need an intro, outro <laughs> thing, so we're working on that. Just go with it at the moment. Yeah, we'll get there.